Hi, I'm Lynn Johnson, broker and owner with Coldwell Banker Home Connection and Coldwell Banker South Metro. We have three offices, one in Owatonna, one in Albert Lee, and the other in Northfield. We're often asked questions from buyers and sellers who are not quite sure how to go about the process process of either purchasing or selling their home. And I wanted to address one of the questions that we hear very frequently from buyers when they're looking to purchase a home. It has to do with earnest money. What is earnest money? Well, earnest money is a sign of your sincere and serious interest in a property. Essentially, it's putting some skin in the game. So when you write an offer, you will be asked at that point to provide earnest money and that can be in the form of a check. Typically, cash is not allowed. So in the form of a check, and that will be made out to the listing company's trust account. Once a purchase agreement has been accepted between buyer and seller, the earnest money will be deposited into the listing company's trust account. And it has to be deposited there within three days after the acceptance of the purchase agreement. The earnest money, will be held until closing and then will apply to any funds that you will be required to bring to closing. So it's initially like an early down payment. Is there a way that you can lose that earnest money? Potentially. Uh, your offer is typically contingent on a couple of different things. It may be contingent on an inspection. And if you found that there were issues that can't be resolved as a result of the inspection, the purchase agreement would be canceled and then typically the earnest money would be refunded to the buyer. Another contingency could be financing. And if for some reason your financing did not go through in the way that you had anticipated, the purchase agreement could be canceled. And again, typically the earnest money would be refunded to the buyers in that situation. What would happen if I just canceled and I no longer wanted to purchase the home? Well, outside of any contingencies, that would constitute a breach of the contract and that would become a legal issue and we would uh, suggest that buyers and sellers at that time consult with their legal advisor. But the earnest money could be uh, held by the seller as liquidated damages based on that breach. Any other questions that you might have with regard to earnest money or any other part of the process of purchasing a home or selling your home, we're always here to answer any questions that you might have. So thanks for stopping by and do remember, we're here to help and on behalf of Coldwell Banker Home Connection and Coldwell Banker South Metro, we'll look forward to visiting with you and answering any questions that you have. Thank you.